good afternoon. Another day, another vlog. Uh, today we're checking out the National Space Centre in uh, in Leicester. Uh, it's the first time me and Lisa have ever been here before, and we were actually got to come a few weeks ago. But as you saw, some people posted on Facebook, "Oh, I've got a Brighton Pier. It's loads better." So, so we did Brighton Pier. We come here. So, so I've fourteen pounds to get in. There's a few bits of things outside to look at. There's also another attraction over here, uh, Abbey Pumping Station Museum of Science and Technology. So if you're into that sort of stuff, come and check that out. Um, it says over there, open every day, 11 till 4.30, free admission. So might give that a go as well. There's a, hello? There's a space man. Pioneer. One thing I noticed about this GoPro as well, you need to get quite close to things that you're filming because otherwise, because it's quite a wide angle on it, you don't get it in. So yeah. So, not too sure what's actually here, but in that big building you can probably make out there's a rocket inside there. Uh, it's quite it's quite a famous in, um, attraction really, it's been on TV a few times. Um, what was that wedding programme? Don't, oh, don't Tell the Bride. It was on that. A uh, couple actually came and got married here underneath the, the rocket. There's a lift as well. Goes up and down. I think there's a planetarium. There's a, f it, a few things to see and do. Like I said first time we've been here before, so we might as well come and do a vlog. Like the uh, astronaut footprints taking you to the door. So, I'll turn you off here, get a couple of pictures. Whoa. I like the, uh, the entrance here. So if you've got prepaid tickets, apparently you go over there if you've already got your prepaid tickets. If not, you come in this area. It looks quite busy as well. It's a Sunday today. Wow, looking good already. So as you know, I'm a massive Star Wars fan and a bit of a geek like, so come and check it out. The entrance is over here. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's just for food. Where do you pay to get? Oh, tickets over there. <laughs> we don't even know where we're going. Queued up for food. Well, they just got here. Yeah, tickets over here. Up until five. Specially designed one for me. You have to look at your wrist at a 200 degree slide. Here's a thing. 
So yeah, we're at the National Space Centre as well. Some of you might know as a lad had a beard trim. It was getting a bit scruffy. Got my hair cut as well. Probably you'll be all going, oh no, I like the beard. It's getting a bit too long. So I uh, don't really know what's here really, it's just uh, Space food and stuff in there. Looks a bit um, manky though. Yeah. Gravity Garden. Is there anything in there? Biosphere, World of Art. So there'll be like things for you to touch and do in here, but you can't actually do any of it. Oh, that moves. Ooh, buttons. Broken. Oh, I think that was that area. I think we're actually walking towards the big building with a rocket in it. Yeah. That's what it says there. A rocket tower.
goes up some height there. Alright, so you've got uh, this one blue streak and Thor Abel. Pretty cool with that. There's a lift, I don't know where that goes. Like a picnic area for everyone. Safety of others, please do not lean over the barrier. Moon. So there's more more things up here to look at. Really cool in here though. Hello fuel cell. Level three now, and basically it's just like timelines of different years of what's happening, and you know, compared with the leaving Earth. I mean, you can spend all day reading all these little things. Uh, Doc Martin's sailing on, known as style in 1960. Oh, Skelextric! Skelextric! Wow. Last Friday. 1958. Look at that. We are most anxious to talk with the president here in a few minutes to tell him about our flight. Hulk first appeared in Marvel Comet 1962. To tell you all and to tell the world about it. 
Oh yeah, Spot I thought it was Sputnik. Sputnik. Artificial satellite. Soviet first, what's in there? He invented a sequel to this crime. We had just one month. Ground two focused on placing an animal into orbit. Our hopes lay in a stray dog called Laika. Time was tight if we were to meet Khrushchev's deadline, but with a few alterations to the satellite, we were confident we could launch Laika into orbit. I mean, some people would find this really interesting, but it's all right. It's not as good as the Kennedy Space Center in, all, in Florida. So I'll come here and do a vlog. Showing you how, you how they got it in here. Wow. Yeah, I mean, these are pretty cool. Well, like I said, you got the Kennedy Space Center, and nothing compared to the uh, the rockets that are in there. Still really high up. Alright, go down to the next level. Yeah, so you just, just saw we was in the rocket building. Uh, there was a few floors on there with different ex exhibitions. Um, and now we're in like the main area now. So there's, there's things to do, things to press. To start your journey. There is, a, there is actually a 3D experience here. Look, there's things to dress up your kids in costumes. <laughs> um, there's, a three, there's a 3D um, simulator, I think, somewhere. Oh, the Big Bang. First, can you imagine a state where time and Ah, it just comes out here. Can you find the secret buttons that change me? Secret buttons. Secret buttons. No. Oh, didn't you go around there? No, I'm going in there. My knees are still hurting from that scare attraction. find this a bit boring but you know like I said might as well come and film something and um, we are at Blackpool Pleasure Beach as you know next weekend 3D map of the stars 3D map of the stars let's have a look in here oh it's pitch black Ooh. don't know if the camera's picking anything up Hawks is the brightest star in the constellation the sun the sun the sun 
It is nine times larger as well as sun, but only twice its mass. It has at least one. The thing is with these sort of places, like a museum type, there is a lot to read. I'm not into reading much. <laughs> I just like looking at the pretty pretty pictures and things like that. The solar flares probably showing you. But yeah, if you what if you're into this sort of stuff, come and come and check it out. There is a lot of interactive things to do. Great for the kids. We're just waiting for the um, show in about 10 minutes. Tiny Terran, explore the wonders of our solar system. It's got a cool little character as well. What is it? Ooh. Kids, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Nothing like this. Showing you about asteroids, the Mars rover over here. Did it not move? Beans are available by the way. Oh, oh okay. Moon. They're all the same. Oh my god. Oh, I can't move that one. Meteor Hunter. Lisa! Gone over there. Yeah, it's quite busy in here. It's, there's lots to see and do. Silly mirrors. Whoa. Yeah, I definitely think if you've got kids, they'll probably enjoy more than the adults will. There's loads, loads of things for the kids to do and that. Ooh, infrared. Hi. 
to know where the uh, 3D cinema is. Again, I'm working out the Sometimes I'll actually take my call. Where's all the way to the ends? And I like to take my call while I have to shoot in there and just kind of work it. I mean, seriously, there is loads to see and do in here. There's probably actually more in here than there is at the Star Wars Identities exhibition we did last weekend. We're only in there for an hour. Well, you could, you could spend a few hours in here at least. Our interactive tables that are done obviously by pro projectors. Looks like these, this, this area looks quite new, little iPad touch things. Where is it? No, it doesn't do anything. This one do anything, moon rock. Particles of moon rock, yeah, as I see them. Particles of moon rock. Right, time for the uh, planetarium in about uh, no, five minutes so there's your uh, what's on today different things shows and we've got a queue up in here Ride simulator. Yeah, we've just done the planetarium. It was pretty good actually. Couldn't really record in there, so I put a couple of little clips in there. Um, yeah, it was quite good actually. It was just the story of the universe really and how we were born from an atom, and yeah, it was pretty good. During this space, you'll be supervised by me, logistics officer Carvia, and my colleague, Tech Dr. Johnson. All right, people, let's see those tickets and barcodes. You need to scan your barcode at each training module so we can keep track. Oh, just done the flight simulator and that was painful. One of the roughest simulator things I've ever, I've ever done, really. 3D was pretty good. Basically, you're going to uh, this planet near Jupiter um, and it's quite open, the simulator itself. Um, yeah, it's quite an old one, but yeah, it's good. It's all right. So there's like interactive things that you can do now. You've got to scan your barcode and do these different uh, different things. I don't think I'll follow like, but there's a, there's a little ride over there. Yeah, there's little arcades. Brilliant. About 50p a go. Might have a do on that. Pew 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 pew! Uh, the queues are quite big for some of these little interactive things. Uh, with this one, it's like a little, again, another little simulator. It's got air underneath and it floats and moves with a laser, and you've got to shoot the targets up there. But we've, we've stood and watched people on it from over there, and yeah, we could be waiting half an hour just to get on that. There's things over here. Oh yeah, again, um, you got kids and stuff, they'll love it here. There's loads of things to do. Little, little so it's all about building like this base on um, on that on this planet. The mine. There we go, a bit higher, a bit higher. Good astronaut. Right, you went there, now you see that one. Oh yeah, 
there, right here. You set the thing, moves a little joystick. And there's a laser. It's supposed to be up there, they haven't scored anything yet. Oh, there's your laser. So you hit the blue lights. We're uh, going the wrong way. <laughs> Yeah, so that was that was basically it, really. I mean, like the rocket thing was up there, then you had the ex exhibit exhibits around there, and then the uh, planetarium was inside. Uh, there's a gift shop here, which I'll show you around. Uh, we'll probably get a drink and that sort of thing as well. It's all like sciencey things in here. Might get it, might see if there's a fridge magnet. Oh yeah. More Star Wars stuff. You can't go anywhere without Star Wars. I love it though. So these are them wristband things that were at the exhibition. Yeah. I thought they were land. I thought they were lanyards. Loads of cool Star Wars stuff. I've got that keyring. Some of my keys. Posters. Cool posters. Base food. Ice cream with chocolate chips. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's like space food ice Destroying food. the display. Van vandalizing. <laughs> ice cream sandwich. Oh moon rock. Moon rock. Ooh, which is chocolate chip cinder. Ice cream. Is it? No. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh there's loads of stuff in here. Star Wars Lego. Oh look at the planets. Little teddy planet, the sun. Oh, I like that one. Like, <laughs> Jupiter, ooh, isn't it? Me. Little moons. Where's a little moon? I want a little moon. What's the prices on it? Twenty-four is quite quite expensive, that, isn't it? Yeah, little moon. How much are the suns? <laughs> what does it say? Does it say? Comet. Comet. Yeah, I want a comet. <laughs> I want a comet. Yeah, some good stuff in here. Right, so we just got ourselves a, a milkshake each and something to eat, and we're just about to sit under the rockets. There we are, look at that. Wow. So there's a button somewhere, and the smoke comes out of it. Where's the button at? Oh, we should be having me on. There's got to be a button for this thing somewhere. But yeah, check out these milkshakes. So there's a mint, mint and chocolate. At least it's got that one, and mine's butterscotch. Look at that. Very spacey. Awesome. So we've got to have these and enjoy them. And then we'll finish off. Give you a look. Give you a little. Um, Give you a little review at the end. There you are, I found the button, it's on the table here. We finished there's a police helicopter up there. The police woman's just walked past us. So I don't know what's going on. Well, at least he's just got a nice picture there for you. But um, yeah, that was it. That was the uh, National Space Centre. Um, yeah, we, we've had an all right day actually. There's there's plenty of things to do. No, she, uh, she wasn't keen on it. Um, there's plenty of things to see and do. If you want to spend even more time, you can go around reading and everything. Brilliant for the families. You know, there's loads of people with the kids and that here. Um, yeah, little boys with the little spaceships and things. But yeah, we was just sat in there, had the milkshake and something to eat, and the rockets are there. It's 
great. It's, it's a fantastic looking structure, like just to hold, just to literally house them two two rockets in there. Um, yeah, it's been all right actually. It was like I said, it was fourteen pounds to get in. At least it sort of mentioned we could have actually snuck in and not really paid because they weren't checking tickets or anything. At least it's getting a few more pictures. So yeah, if you're into this sort of stuff, if you're a bit of a, um, a sci-fi fan like I am, um, come and check it out. It's actually not too bad. I mean, I wouldn't drive two or three hours to come here. I don't think it'd be worth that. Um, but you've got the young children, they'll, they'll enjoy it. So yeah. Blackpool Pleasure Beach next weekend for the opening. Can't wait for that. There's got to be loads of us there. And um, yeah, I would just say, we might as well say it now. We have got a few more trips planned for the rest of the year. We're going to Europa Park, uh, Wallaby Holland, and Toverland in July with some friends. And then me and Lisa are going to Florida for two weeks in October. Do all the Halloween stuff as well. So yeah, that was it. It's at National Space Centre. Where you uh, were your thing. That looks pretty cool actually, the museum that I showed you when we first got here. Oh there's actually a steam train there. Oh wicked. So I mean we've never really been to Leicester before, so we might come and check that out as well actually. So yeah that was it. National Space Centre. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. And I'll see you again next weekend. Bye for now.